This is 1077 Lorimer Street, where I lived uh, from the age of four to eight. It's located in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. This is a film 13 years in the making, in that I started shooting a film when I was six. My father gave me my first digital camera, and the first thing I shot was a short documentary uh, about my neighborhood, just taking the camera around with me everywhere and shooting what we did that day. And so now I feel like I'm coming back and completing that documentary by seeing how much of the neighborhood remains the same and how much of it has changed grown up like me. We are going to my The neighborhood itself remains basically the same. It's cleaner, it's nicer. A lot of the places I remember going to when I was a kid, when I was six years old, are now gone. The small little health food store we used to go to, gone, replaced by you know, supermarkets. These are my favorite things here. The video store we used to get our VHSs every night, that's of course gone. The camera store where my father used to go, because he's a photographer, and uh, buy his Kodak film and get his camera fixed, of course gone. There's my mom. Thank you. That's you, mom. And the El Cafe, where I used to go all the time with my parents and stay there until 2 or 3 in the morning hanging out, is now closed. I think it's a dry cleaner now. You used to get pastries from here all the time. It's hard to comprehend. You're in this pharmacy. It's your average Rite Aid. But then you're in this disco hall. I can't believe it's still here. I can't believe they haven't knocked it down yet. I mean, it's built like a regular place. Here I am back at the same spot. I was 13 years ago, walking with my parents. Though it's a cliche, it's sad that the world around us has to change. The green point that I had in my memory for the past 10 years doesn't entirely exist anymore. It doesn't really exist at all. The neighborhood to me was the stores that we used to go to, cafes we used to hang out in, and they're all gone mostly. I guess this neighborhood has grown since I was last year, but it's lost a lot of the personal things about it. It's still a predominantly Polish area, yes, but the hipsters from Williamsburg are slowly creeping in. It's becoming more commercial. I guess what I'm wondering is, is a neighborhood a specific point on a map, a designated location, or is it how that location makes you feel when you're there? In which case, this is not my green point.